Hey, I'm Sam. We're going to be on an online prosperity show. I'm going to show you how to build a lifestyle business and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you on there. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Sam Stone all the way from Gold Coast. Sam, how are you doing, my man? Hey. Yeah, Fan- fantastic. Prosper, how are you? Fantastic. Now, Sam is an um, internet marketer and he helps people to start, scale, and grow their own internet lifestyle. And he's got a lifestyle to prove it. Now, that's the reason why we brought him in so that he can get us to know his side of the story, how he got started, and how we too can maybe, you know, join his internet lifestyle so that we have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Sam, thank you so much for your time. Now, tell us a little bit about your story, how you got started, and what it is that you actually do. Um, Okay, how I got started. Well, um, when I was younger, you know, you always want to be rich and famous and that sort of stuff. I was really shy as a kid. Um, had all my, I was fortunate my parents were into personal development. They read all the books. So I got exposed to that. Um, realized I sort of need to learn how to sell and learn how to speak to people. So I went into direct selling and um, really loved it. I really found a passion in sales and that sort of relates to marketing. And then I sort of found the internet through that. Um, realizing that you, know, you can only see people face to face. You can only leverage that so much. Um, I tried a couple of businesses, but they failed, unfortunately. So, um, and then, yeah, and then I found the internet um, probably, I don't know, 2008, 2009, I started really sort of seeing a few people, um, sorry, 2009, yeah, sort of started, started seeing people uh, make some money and sort of see how they were doing it. And it related to exactly what I knew about sales, just um, in an online medium. So I started learning about it, jumped in, started doing all sorts of um like building niche websites, trying to rank them in Google and doing all that sort of stuff. I was fortunate enough to, um, I quit my job in 2013, went to New Zealand. Um, I was on my actual way to travel Southeast Asia, but went to New Zealand, helped out a friend who I hadn't seen in a long time. He needed some help with his business, so end up helping him, stayed in New Zealand for six months. Um, Google ended up changing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, my income pretty much died overnight within like a week. I, all my income that I was earning online just disappeared. So then um, that made me rethink the whole thing. And I, um, yeah, and I just really realized my mistakes, sort of um, realized what I did wrong in that place. And then and that, and I started rebuilding and that's where I am now. So then I've rebuilt, really focused on sort of email marketing and sort of mainly print on demand where I'm selling t- t-shirts on um, Amazon and, uh, and just sort of other t-shirt sites as well. So, um, so yeah, that's sort of really, really what I do. And I really help people build that sort of um, internet marketing really how to build that audience, build a list, um, how to communicate with that list and then um, sell those products. So, uh, we, yeah, and that's really what it's all about. Fantastic. Oh, sort of Fantastic. What a wonderful journey. And thank you so much for sharing with us. Now, you did raise a couple of points that are, you know, really sticking out for me. You did mention that your background was predicated on your parents listening to you know, positive um, and personal development tapes and stuff like that. How important is, um, you know, looking after your mind and personal development in this whole internet business? Because I thought all you needed is a website and driving traffic to it. What's the purpose of personal development, especially in this industry? To be honest, look, uh, personal development is everything. Well, mindset is everything. It helps in all sorts of parts of life. And in funny, I was just reading an article today. I've just still got it on my tabs um, open right now from Tony Robbins, where he talks about, you know, 20% of it mechanics and 80% of it is psychology. And so, and that's really what it's about. You know, if you don't have, like, perfect example, uh, online, you know, I'll admit there's a lot of people who jump online, try to make money and they fail, just like they do in the real world business. You know, you see it all the time, you know, nine out of 10 businesses fail. Well, that's really no different than online. You know, a lot of people fail. There's a lot of people make mistakes, but at the same time, you can get two people with the same, given the same tools, given exactly the same tools, exactly the same knowledge, exactly the same, whatever it might be. And you know, one's got a different mindset and one doesn't, you know, one interprets a fail as, Oh, you know, okay. I, I, that way doesn't work. Let's just move on and keep going to the next one as the next person might fail and go, Hey, Oh, that that that's it. I, I'm I'm no good at this, and and they just fall into that pit down there. So, and the only difference is that is that mindset to be able to interpret a loss or interpret a fall down and be able to keep moving forward. Um, and that's really what it comes down to. So yeah, I'd say uh, personal development is extremely important. Um, 
yeah, if you, if you don't have the right mindset, you, it's so hard to get there. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm still working on mine and I struggled for a long time as well. But I also noticed that when I got into sales and that was one of the main reasons what drove me into direct selling in the first place. Um, you know, I started selling door-to-door sales when I first got started. I was shy and intimidated and, um, you know, I couldn't speak to anyone. I was, yeah, I was so, socially awkward and whatnot. So I jumped in door-to-door sales. I mean, it was the a sink or swim sort of scenario. 100% commission and um, and that really forced me to put a lot of that what I was reading throughout these personal development books into action because um, Again, that's what again. It's getting it put out of that um, Another thing which is important which is again what self-development helps with is getting you out of that comfort zone and that's again will stretch you Stretch your growth and stretch you your ability to show you what you're capable of and I guess ultimately that's what it's about is stretching what you're capable of I mean What's the human potential? We don't know yet, huh? Understandable. Well, thank you so much for that elaborate um, answer there because a lot of people don't quite realize how important it is to have the right frame of mind. As if, and, and as if you have said, how Tony Robbins has the 80-20 uh, rule you know, pegged against 20%, um, you know, being the mechanics and the structure and the standards that are supposed to be done to execute and the 80% bring the state of mind on where you are as a person. Now, you do have an unfair advantage of which you had an extensive sales background that then might help you in this particular, um, you know, internet sort of uh, business style. Now, tell, tell us how you know, your background in sales actually propels and, you know, promotes what you, you are doing right now? Well, to be honest, um, I would actually say, uh, I'd love to say it was a really huge advantage for me. And to be honest, I was, um, uh, the only way I can, uh, I, was, I was silly. The, yes, the sales, all the sales knowledge gave me the advantage to understand exactly what people were doing. But to be honest, I still struggled for a long, long time. I found it really hard to transfer from the offline world to the online world. And, um, what really, and it struck me that it took me so long. I, I realized the power, how, how much power like sort of copywriting was and sort of being able to communicate on, or communicate in the offline world was, but I didn't really apply that to the online world. Um, you know, so many of the people I looked up to, you know, Evan Page and Frank Kern, all the sort of big guys at the time, they were all, hey, learn, learn copywriting, 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 it's, you know, it's the most powerful skill. I was like, no, just give me traffic, just give me traffic. I just want to make sales and, you know, and again, um, so yes, it, it definitely gave me an advantage on, on being able to see the mechanics behind it all. Um, unfortunately, I would love to say I'd be, I was, it was a smooth transition from moving it from the offline world to the online world, but for myself, it really wasn't. I was um, not smart enough to be able to make that transition, I guess, as smoothly as, as smoothly as I probably should have having the knowledge I did. But, but yes, uh, um, so yeah, I, I, Look, I don't want to. I don't want to put anyone back to say if you don't have sales experience, um, that can't stop you because, uh, yeah, definitely, I know a lot of people who have had got no sales experience, and that's what the online world sort of um, attracts them to it anyway. So you can be an introvert behind your screen and uh, make some money. So understandable. Well, with copywriting, you actually are selling with your own words, and you have. Yes. Um, you know, mentioned a couple of heavy hitters there, Frank Kern, of which I do you know, avidly follow him, myself and Egan Pagan, um, gentlemen, that um, if, if, you know, you if one person really wants to get into the internet marketing sort of space are the sort of names to look out for. So yes. obviously, you know, we're going in, you've got your experience, you've got the, um, you know, the personal development going, but you also then stumbled on the slap from Google when they changed the algorithm and obviously the way traffic was coming in, things just really uh, probably hit 180 for you or 360, so to speak, yes. and you literally lost everything else. Now for somebody who has not really gotten out of their comfort zone, if they hear that, what steps do you then take or what steps can you tell them so that they would anticipate that but still move forward? Sure. Um, I mean, look, unfortunately, it's business. That's life. I mean, there's always going to be setbacks. There's always going to be hurdles you're going to happen to come about. Um, yeah, look, it was, it was devastating and, and, and it hurt me a lot and I, and I sort of, you know, I took that punch, so to speak. But, um, you know, again, what are you going to do? Like, 
Are you going to sit there and cry and whine about it? You've just got to get up and keep moving along. And that's sort of really ultimately what I did. And then I also just looked at what I, like, my main mistake um, was I built an income rather than focus on a business. I built an income based around Google, like based around ranking videos on Google. Now, yes, that's a great traffic traffic generation strategy, but it's not a business, so to speak, if that makes sense, in the way at least I was doing it. Um, and that's really what I learned. I learned, hey, you know what? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Learn how to diversify a little bit um, and learn how to sort of build something that I can control a little bit more, which hence the email list where you know, you're building your own traffic source, you're building something that a little bit either I own and I can control that audience and then move on from there. I hope that answers your question. Um, yeah. Understandable. Oh, of course it does. I mean, I'm, I really do appreciate the wealth of knowledge and, you know, advice you're dropping on on this show today, which obviously oh, if you're watching in the audience right now, it is time that you subscribe to this channel because people like Sam are always giving us all the, you know, nuts and bolts behind the scenes so that you too can start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, all of those are trends, like you've mentioned, you know, things come and go as in business, there's ups and downs, et cetera, et cetera. How important now did you, um, you know, find that without building assets, instead you were just building an income, you were not putting assets together or you did not have a message or maybe did not have a clearly defined market. All you depended on was the media, which Google then swapped the, the rug under your feet. Now, yeah. how... You know, how important is it to actually really, really create a business instead of just going in for the quick wins? Uh, look, if you're in it for the long term, oh, look, there's a lot of ways. The beauty about the internet, there's a lot of ways you can make money. Um, but yeah, if you definitely want to go for the long term and you want, you definitely want to create a, a, you know, the fundamentals of a real business. Um, and they've, they've been around forever. Um, and that's really what it's all about is building some sort of assets that, that it doesn't really not so much reliant on one platform or, or one another. Um, it is a little bit hard these days, I have to admit, um, because there are such big players, for an example, um, I'm selling on Amazon at the moment, um, and you know, and they bring in a, a, a good source of income as far as when I'm selling my t-shirts, you know, definitely the vast majority of the, my traffic and everything comes from Amazon. And I know they could shut you down at any time. Um, unfortunately, you just got to wear with that, but also be prepared for that, if that makes sense. So don't have that as your one number one strategy. Um, and that's sort of, you're just trying to diversify and sort of build a little bit more on solid, more solid foundations, don't rely always on one, one third party source at this stage, because um, at the end of the day, yeah, people, third party sources uh, are generally, uh, they don't mind shutting you down, if that makes sense. Um, I can't sound so. <laughs> and they won't be, hesitate. They won't, they won't hesitate. hesitate at all, regardless of how big, how big you are. I mean, I've heard of some really big players being shut down by some, um, yeah. By Amazon, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, understandable. When you're building on somebody else's turf, when you're building on somebody else's foundation, they have, you know, a means and a source to either shut you up or keep you going. Well, you are they even change things as well. I mean, even just um, if you're advertising on Facebook, um, anyone will know they change things constantly and, you know, creating different ads is different. So, again, just learning one simple, uh, like one ad strategy it's not always going to work over time, but you realize things will change. It's a changing environment. That's just, um, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Well, this, this is quite um, interesting. And I'm just going to ask just for you to touch a little upon your latest business model where you are um, helping people or you're helping yourself with the print and on demand and you're using um, Amazon as a traffic source. Just for somebody who doesn't quite understand how the internet actually works, can you just give us a rundown of what your day looks like sure. or what, what your model actually entails? Sure. Well, um, I've got sort of two main, two main areas. One was a, uh, came up by surprise, but um, I'll tell you about the first side of it first, which is basically affiliate marketing. So generally the main strategy of that is um, building an audience. Um, driving that audience towards my email list um, and then building up my own email list. And then from there, um, building a relationship with my list, you know, getting them to know, like, and trust me so they um, buy, the rec the buy the products I recommend to them. Um, that's by providing value and offers and, you know, and just sending emails, things like that. Um, I send them to also generally uh, products that I obviously believe in, but also have good back end offers. So you're not just selling a one product, they have their own sales funnels in the back. So I don't have to worry about the sales funnels, but they sell high ticket um, products on the back end. 
and um, you know, I've got them in some various different niches that are all um, uh, that are all congruent with each other. So that's that side of it. The other side of it, um, a couple of years ago, I was hearing a lot about uh, people making money with print-on-demand T-shirts, um, mainly doing fa advertising through Facebook and whatnot. Now, at the time, I didn't want to distract myself, but I also heard Amazon wanted to get um, involved in it. So they actually opened up a, um, uh, a program called Merch by Amazon, or Merch, uh, Merch by Amazon, yes. Now, if anyone's out there right now, you can apply for them. Um, currently, they're not accepting any new applicants, or they do accept new applicants, but they can wait. I've heard, you know, there's people in the forums waiting up to 12 months before they're getting approved. So, unfortunately, it's just the way it is. It's a new program. Um, but I was fortunate enough to be one of the early ones to get in there um, when I first heard about it. They, they approved me, and I've been uploading some designs. Um, that's been sort of taking right off, and I've really... Um, and that's really sparked my interest and really re realized the, the potential scale there and potential, um, the, yeah, the ultimate potential of the opportunity there. So I've, over the last probably eight months, 10 months, I've really delved heavily into that. And I've, sort of, I've also diversed into other, um, other marketplaces as well. Now what print on demand is, if anyone doesn't know, it's basically um, printing, for instance, this is t-shirts, but it could be mugs, could be iPhone cases, could be any sort of merchandise type product. You can upload a design, whether you're the artist or you could hire an artist, um, and it gets uploaded. And when someone buys that design, it gets printed right there and then. So it's sort of like a made-to-order made to order T-shirt or made-to-order um, iPhone case. And it's very big online. Um, there's a lot of different sites out there. There's um, zazzle.com.au, there's gearbubble.com, um, there's redbubble.com. Uh, there's you know a whole bunch of these sort of marketplaces out there that um, you can sort of upload your design and... Um, yeah, you put your design on all these sort of different products and then create a store and then sell them from there. So I also sort of teach people how to do that sort of strategy as well. Um, but I've just really sort of really been refining my own sort of um, strategies in that in the last sort of, you know, yeah, six to eight months. So, um, yeah, just sort of starting to teach that now. Great stuff. Well, I'm going to be getting your details a little bit later on to see how, um, you know, you can, um, people can get in a hold of you or be in touch with you. So just something while you were talking, um, you know, just struck my mind. What if I'm not really good at designing? Is there any other websites that I can maybe jump onto that, um, you know, Absolutely. can help me with those designs cheaply? Absolutely, Christopher. I'm, I'm definitely not a designer. Um, I, you know, over the years, just um, obviously, you know, just spending time on the internet and whatnot, you know, I've got, I can make simple texts and memes and things like that. So for those sort of things, I use Canva, which is C-A-N-V-A.com. Um, that's like a free sort of thing, um, free like edit software. But for all my designs, all my things that I sell, um, I always hire them out and I generally go to Fiverr, which is a generally Fiverr. You can get a lot of, a lot of good places on Fiverr. I start out on Fiverr and then um, I also can hire, go to um, Upwork.com or Upworks.com and hire outsources or freelance.com or any, any of the sort of freelance um, uh, websites. Understandable. I actually just had a, an idea while you were talking there, um, because if you can start creating those print on demand t-shirts, you can actually go out and um, ask people that are already in groups because they are there because they already have something in common. So you could find out who the administrator is for that group and also just ask if you can pre create a t-shirt uh, for them and revenue share with them. So these people are already aligned to that group. So it could be something that, um, you know, could be useful. Okay. Now, okay. just in case somebody really wants to get a hold of um, you right now, you, you have at least, you know, told us that they need a mindset. They need to know how to sell. You've told us your business model and we've also given them yet another idea of how to actually get the print. So literally they have the business in their hands right now, but maybe what they need is executing an action. And that's maybe where you come in. How can people get a hold of you there, Sam? Um, probably the best way is through my uh, website, which is samstone.co and um, through my Facebook. Just connect with me on Facebook. Um, uh, and yeah, send me a private message. Tell me you saw me on the Prosper show and, uh, yeah, I'll be happy to connect with you. Understandable. Well, this has been fun creating this and I'm really, really appreciative of the value that you have, um, you know, dropped onto this show today, Sam. Thank you so much. Thanks, Prosper. It's been a great, great, great pleasure as well. 
great stuff. And if you're watching this show, we have actually um, deconstructed a business strategy that you can actually literally start right now. So you too can have an internet lifestyle that you would create, um, you know, printing t-shirts on demand and selling them in different, um, you know, markets that are already accepting, um, you know, that sort of work. Now, Sam, I can't thank you enough for your time, your expertise no, and the value you dropped on this show today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Prosper. Thank you so much.